guys, welcome back, it's Shelby, and today we are making a giant, beautiful chandelier. So I have a couple items to help me with that. First off, I have um, something to hang it up with. This, I think, is like a plant holder. It's just three chains coming off a hook. I got this at the craft store for like $10. And what sparked this project is I was actually given this, which is just an absolute beautiful crystal. I think it's like actually glass, but it's super, super beautiful for like the center of the chandelier. And that's what got me interested in making a chandelier. And then I saw these at just like Target or whatever in the Christmas ornament section. I'm like, A, the price is right, and B, they look like cute little chandelier droplets. So to attach them, I just got ornament hooks. So we're gonna try that. And then I also have some fishing line. Let me know what you think about this video and this craft down in the comments. Let me know if you like it by hitting that thumbs up. We'll get right into it. So for the frame of the chandelier, I have these two thingamabobs, which they say they are just wire wreath frame, um, just arranging supplies, and this one says six inch box wreath frame. So just big and little wreath frames. You can get these in the, I guess, floral section. I got them at Joann's when they were in this like whole separate section, um, but by the wreath making supplies, they're super cheap. They're a couple dollars each, and I'm gonna stack them. Like, I haven't decided how I'm gonna stack them yet. So I've arranged my two wreath bases. I just put the little one inside of the big one for ease of spray painting. Got my gold spray paint and we're just going to spray paint them gold, let them dry and then flip them over. And then, you know, spray paint them gold again. There, we'll just let that dry. So my two wreath frames are dry. Both of them are a lovely gold now. And I haven't decided if I want the chandelier to hang like this or like this, like a traditional chandelier shape. Both of them are beautiful, so um, we will see. As far as the ornaments, I have four packages of the white ones. So hopefully I have enough crystals. Basically, I just kept buying them every time I saw them at the store, and I wasn't sure if this was enough, but they ran out. So I was like, all right, this is gonna have to work. Um, and basically what I'm gonna do is they are super cute, like they're super, super cute. So they're just like this, they glisten so prettily. But basically what I'm gonna do is just empty them all, Pick them all up in, oops, just loop them all around my finger. There's absolutely no reason in the world to not do this in bulk. So that's what I'm gonna do, probably just a package at a time. There's 12 per package. Um, you could probably do all of them at a time if you were so inclined, but that just seems a little bit ambitious. Even for me, they're gonna be dropping everywhere. They're just, it's not gonna be a good day. So I'm just gonna get these all looped on my finger, just like that. So pretty, like I love that. And then I'm gonna put it down, but I'm just gonna snip it, but I don't want them to bounce everywhere. Oh, actually, I can just hold it like that. So just cut them all. Woo, look at that. Super easy. So I'm going to cut all the boxes like that. So we will just get that done really fast. All of the clear ones are done. Look at this. These are actual diamonds. I don't even know what I would do. Like, they're so pretty. So, so many of those, and then we can start assembling this chandelier, which will hopefully go quickly and just hopefully be gorgeous. Okay, so next up is attaching our ornament hooks. I have just basic metal and green if I need bigger ones. Don't really want them to be green. If I have to use these, I will very likely just spray paint them gold. But I'm going to get started just attaching my little silver ones, and this I will not do all on camera because you guys will seriously just be like, no, like I'm not watching that. It's just like too boring, too much. So basically all I'm doing is just, they are ornaments and these are ornament hooks. So I'm just treating them that way. Um, pulling some out of the container. Although this container is like battle armor. There we go. So we'll get some out and just little hooks. Put them through, fold them up. Just like that, good to go. So I'm going to do all of these, hooking them all up to this, and I will check back in when they are all on their hooks. <laughs> so next up, what I'm doing is taking my fishing line, and I'm just going to cut off a couple strands and make them nice and big. And basically what I wanna do is attach my little guy to my big guy before everything's covered with uh, the crystals and it just becomes ridiculous. So I'm just going to loop it through the outer edge. Actually, that's sealed, so I can put it through one, two, three and it will stay in place. I'm just gonna loop it through the little, the little hole they got going on there and then around. So basically through the loop to keep it in place and not slide around, but then around the outside loop as well, just to make sure it sticks. 
I've got my chandelier hooked up and I'm just attaching the lower base to the upper base. I want it to drop down about this much. So I'm just taking some clear fishing line. There are three spokes on the little one and six on the top. So I'm just putting it through the loop to secure it. And then every other spoke on the large chandelier, that's what I'm attaching it to. And then the tricky part is just making sure that they are all the same length so that you don't have anything that's crooked. Okay, so that is my chandelier base. I just have it hooked up to my dining room lights just so I can work on it. But uh, yeah, so that went together pretty easily. The fishing line is actually more visible on camera than in real life. I think that's just because the light is coming down and reflecting on it. But we are going to get our crystals on here and um, see how it turns out. So I'm just carefully hanging my clear crystal ornaments up on the very outside ring of the wreath holder. And the ornament hooks are perfect. They're curved already, so I don't even really need to pinch them too much at the top. If they look like they're wobbling around, I'm going to pinch them a little bit, but for the most part, they're just hanging on gravity and it's a hook, so you don't really need to worry about it. They shouldn't be, you know, theoretically bumped or pushed up or anything, but if it looks like it's not holding or they're sliding around a bit, I am pinching the tops just a little bit, just to make sure that everything um, stays in place and holds like it should. Okay, that's beautiful as a start, so I will get started on the lower level. I might fill in some of the spots with some more clear ornaments if uh, I need to, but that's a really beautiful start. For the lower level, I'm doing the exact same thing I did for the top level, and that's hanging the ornaments on the very outside ring of the smaller interior reef base holder. And for these, just because they do wobble around more, I am pinching the tops a bit more just to keep them on. And the inside layer is going to need less crystals than the outside layer, so uh, just kind of putting those on without knocking off the outside ring layer. But yeah, they go on pretty easily. I think I have enough clear ornaments left to add one per section to the top layer. I have nine left, so I just need six, and that'll help just kind of bulk everything up a little bit, add a little bit more sparkle. Just one per level, I think, is going to be just the little extra touch that it needs so badly. I'm really glad I have the extra ornaments because everything just looks better when they're touching and then it doesn't look sparse at all. There we go. So far, this is looking absolutely beautiful. It just needs a little extra something and that is where the crystal ball my friend gave me is going to come into play. So far, I love the way it's turning out. The very last piece is this gorgeous crystal pendant that's going to go at the base of the chandelier. If you don't have one of those, you can just use one of the ones you've been using. But I'm gonna attach this, so I need to get myself some fishing line. If I can cut that, there we go. Figure out about how far I want it to hang down. But first off, just attach this through the fishing line. I want it to be nice and secure. So I'm going to just kind of tie it, tie it off a little bit. Make sure it's not going anywhere, kind of like you tie pearls. This is 15 pound test and like not a 15 pound crystal ball, so it should be 100% fine. And then I want it to hang probably about there. And what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is just get these little wire hook hangers and attach three of them towards the center and just kind of keep it in place. So that is the goal, but I'm going to tie this off here in a loop so that I am able to hang it. Not in a loop, sorry, just in a knot so that it forms a loop. See that? Yeah, so there's a little knot there so that I am able to hang it up. We're gonna switch the angles, get this attached to the chandelier, and it's gonna be done. So I'm going to start with three of these hooks for ornaments, and I'm just going to attach them through the spokes, and I'm going to make sure that they are very well attached and crossing over on themselves because this thing's heavy and it's glass and I don't want it falling. Here we 
go. All the little hooks are facing in. I'm going to lower down my crystal. Oh, this is so exciting. So pretty. And just hook it through all of my hooks. And each one I hook through, I am going to secure very well. Pinch it together so it's not going anywhere. And basically these three hooks are just going to act to center it because otherwise it'll be hanging off, off center and I don't want that. Oh my God, you guys, this is it. Look how beautiful that is. This is right above my dining room table and um, it's not gonna stay there because it's actually attached to a light. But look at how gorgeous and stately that is and it's all for under $40. It reflects light so beautifully. You could hook it up to something that already has light bulbs in it because there is space in the wreath bases, but um, it also doesn't need it. Like it could just hang somewhere. This is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited for this. Okay guys, here's how it turned out. Isn't it gorgeous? Just installed it, still swinging, absolutely stunning. I could not be more pleased with this. If you like the video, let me know by hitting that thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you here again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.